What's up? It's me, ScottX1307. Back again with another contest video. Man, it's a lot of contests going on right now. That is very cool though. Uh, this time it is for Amanda Comics 123 uh, 100 plus subscriber contest. Uh, congratulations, Mana. Uh, Mana Comics is uh, one of the younger guys on here, but uh, he has amassed a very good collection so far. A lot of great key issues, and uh, puts out some good haul videos. Uh, so uh, go check him out to be as young as he is. He is uh, getting a really good collection, and he uh, has a pretty good knowledge about the books as well. So go check him out. I'll leave a link below. Uh, so congratulations again, Mana, and thanks for doing this contest. Uh, all these contests going on right now are really, really cool. Some really great questions uh, that uh, everybody has got for us. So get into this. Uh, first question he asks is, what is your favorite comic and non-comic TV show? Well, if you're talking uh, current stuff, it's easy for me. There's only really two shows on television that I keep up with on a regular basis. So my favorite comic book based TV show obviously Walking Dead um, now what do I need to say about the show it's awesome you either like it or you don't um, hopefully you do uh, the other show that I follow pretty regularly regularly is Doctor Who have since I was a kid um, here's my favorite doctor uh, the fourth doctor um, watch that in the uh, 80s with my mom on PBS and uh, I'm watching the new seasons on BBC America um, so yeah that would be my two favorite shows um, and if you're talking about all time probably my favorite non comic book show of all time would be the original Twilight Zone just that is one of the best shows ever created for television or otherwise just fantastic um, if for some reason you have never seen an original Twilight Zone episode um, go go try to find one I'm sure you can find one on YouTube or something uh, my favorite episode is time enough at last um, but the, just the, almost any episode is a good one um, I can't think of any bad ones some are better than others but I can't think of any that are just bad so all right next uh, yes uh, you've got to choose between two key issues uh, Batman Adventures number 12, First Harley Quinn, or Werewolf by Night 32, First Moon Knight. Moon Knight's cool and all, um, but yeah, I'd, I'd take Batman Adventures 12. Um, Harley Quinn is an awesome character. Um, I think that she will maintain her popularity in the future, whereas Moon Knight is always up and down, and unless Marvel does something really big with him, I just I see him being one of those little cult characters. Um, he has a pretty strong, but smaller fan base. Um, but yeah, I mean it's Harley Quinn, so Batman Adventures definitely. Uh, then he asks, Marvel or DC? Uh, in comics, movies, TV, etc., uh, which do you think is the best or doing a better job? Comics, I don't read either company new issues so I couldn't tell you I think they're both doing a pretty horrible job right now uh, just from what I've seen and the few issues that I have read here and there um, historically I don't know I like them both um, always leaned a little more towards Marvel characters but I like both Marvel and DC uh, back issues so but currently yeah I think both they're both pretty much crap right now movies in bulk, it's got to be Marvel. DC's movies, uh, basically, if they're good, they're Batman. Um, and then, of course, the original Superman uh, with Christopher Reeve, the uh, Superman 1 and 2. Those movies were great. Pretty much everything else by DC has been horrible. Um, even most of the Batman movies. The Nolan trilogy was good. Dark Knight was a great movie. The first Batman, Tim Burton and Michael Keaton and Batman Returns, those were really good movies. But on the whole, Marvel, I mean, you got Avengers, Iron Man 1, 2, and 3. 
uh, Thor 1 and 2, Captain America 2, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, X-Men, um, and yeah, I know that X-Men is made by Fox, but it's Marvel characters. Um, the Spider-Man movies, uh, which are Sony, but again, it's Marvel characters, so by and large, movies, Marvel. Uh, TV, definitely got to be DC. I don't watch any of the current uh, TV shows, uh, Gotham or Flash or uh, Arrow or Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, I just know that TV-wise, you're talking animation. Live action, I don't know. DC looks like they have the better shows. But animation, Marvel has never been able to compete with this. Nothing they have done has been on the level of Batman the Animated Series or even the Justice League series. Um, so, TV, I gotta give to DC. Um, of course, you know, in the past they had the popular Batman, the campy Batman show. Um, of course, I did like Incredible Hulk from Marvel, but yeah, I think DC wins the TV market. Um, but, well, I guess we'll see when the Netflix shows come out. Um... All right, and then he asked for your top three comic book movies. Um, my top three comic book movies. In no particular order, it would probably be uh, Captain America 2, Winter Soldier, um, The Dark Knight, and... Oh... Uh, I don't know. Avengers? Probably Avengers. They did a really good job with that movie. So, yeah, we'll go with that. Um, Avengers, Dark Knight, and uh, Captain America 2. And uh, then the next question he asks is, uh, what book do you think is overpriced? Um, yeah, as I commented in another video, somebody already stole my answer, but I think they're all overpriced. Uh, current issues are severely overpriced. Three, four, five dollars for a new title. Back issues are becoming ridiculously overpriced, uh, by and large. Uh, you look at something like New Mutants 98. Yeah, it's first appearance of Deadpool. Um, it, it is a key. It has become a popular character. Uh, and it, it should be a pretty valuable book, but with the number of copies out there, I mean, really, it should be like a $20, $25 book. It should not be a two, three hundred dollar $300 book, whatever it goes for. Um, Batman Adventures 12, it's first Harley Quinn. I think uh, an even more important character than uh, Deadpool. Uh, and should be a little more valuable, but I mean, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars for that her first appearance. It's it's getting ridiculous. Um, movies, TV hype, uh, all this is eventually will die down. Prices of books will back issues anyway will drop. Hopefully, they'll find a way to make new issues cheaper. Um, but you can point to just uh, almost any back issue unless you get into you know golden age and early silver age keys yeah some of those books should be worth thousands of dollars um, but any kind of modern from bronze age up a lot of the I'd say 90 percent of the books are overpriced um, then he has in a year from now do you see yourself still collecting comic books and making videos I sure as hell hope so um, <laughs> I, uh, I, I've always collected comics uh, since I was first introduced to them. Um, you know, I was like uh, 8, 9, 10. I really started collecting at like 11 or 12. Um, that's when I actually, you know, started keeping track and, and putting things uh, in bags and boards. Found out about stuff like that. Um, I, there have been times when I haven't been able to collect, usually, you know, for monetary reasons. Um, and I'm sure that you know things like that will happen again from time to time as life goes but yeah comics is something I'll always come back to I always keep collecting um, steadily or off and on I'll, I'll they'll always be around um, as far as making videos that's I really 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 hope that a year from now I'm still making videos on here I enjoy this uh, 
community so much. Um, met a lot of good people on here. Um, and and I'm one of those people, you know, back in the day, I, I, I'm I not going to lie. I would sit there and say, there's no way you can make friends with people over a computer. You, you can't get to know people like that. They can type whatever they want. And then I found um, YouTube um, very late to the game as far as uh, YouTube goes. Um, I only started watching videos on YouTube a couple of years before I started making videos. And, um, you know, I had heard about it. I just, you know, wow, I have TV. I wasn't that big on internet and computer stuff at the time. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm glad, glad I did. The community here, you, with the videos, you can get to know people pretty well. And you get to comment back and forth and then exchange uh, phone numbers sometimes or email. So you get to have a little more in-depth conversations with people. Um, the hangouts that people have on YouTube. Uh, and they sit there and they talk comics and just, just bullshit for an hour or two or three. Just, uh, you know, back and forth. Um, that's just, that, that's amazing. Um, you can make some great friends on YouTube and I've met some really, really great people and, uh, you know, one way or another, I will still be trying to do videos a year from now, two years from now, um, however long I can, uh, keep doing it. So, um, so thanks to this wonderful community. And, uh, his last, uh, Last question he asked, just show off three to five uh, your favorite books, uh, which, you know, that's cool because I'm glad he didn't ask for just one favorite. I have dozens of favorites. I pulled out just a few examples. Um, these are a little, uh, a little more current pickups for me. Um, but, and I'm breaking, and I'm, and I'm, like always, I'm going to break the rules a little bit because I have, uh, <laughs> uh, I've got six books here, um, but three of them kind of go together. I got these at a, uh, I won these books, well, two of them in a contest uh, from another YouTuber, um, and I got uh, sketch, they're sketch, blank sketch covers, and I got my first um, sketches done this year uh, at the SC Comic Con. I got uh, this cool Iron Fist um, head sketch by... Uh, artist Matthew Smith he's a local indie guy and also met artist James Lau he does work for Xenoscope and Grim Fairy Tales he did this cool uh, uh, marker Batman sketch and then at Heroes Con met up with Matthew Smith again um, he does these sketch covers for 10 bucks uh, including the book um, so I got him to do this uh, really cool Doctor Strange on a Defenders book since he was one of the original defenders, um, and those those are definitely three three of my favorite books because of that. Now, uh, just in general, here's another favorite of mine. This great uh, uh, Dawn. This is from a uh, Lucifer's Halo first mini series number one. This is the black light variant. Unfortunately, I don't have a black light, or I'd show it off. But uh, you know what? A, the black light effect. So. Just picture that in glowing blue. <coughs> Excuse me. Picked this book up uh, in 2013. Got a really good deal on it uh, on eBay. Snatched it up. Got it signed by Jeremy Bastian this year. Fantastic book. Cursed Pirate Girl number one. First print. If you can find any printing of this book, it's worth picking up. The artwork is amazing. It's a good story too, Just but the artwork will blow your mind. If you like Bernie Wrightson, You'll like this artwork. Uh, less horror, more fantasy, but still it's that hyper-detailed uh, line work. And then my new my new current favorite book I got uh, from Ferengi 102 for Christmas this year. Uh, super amazing. Cry for Dawn, number five, first printing. Um, love this character. Love the artist, uh, Joseph Michael Lenzner. And... Uh, was just you know my jaw dropped when I opened the package and this was in there I just <laughs> can't explain how uh, happy I was to receive that just amazing so alright man I hope that does it and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video
thanks again for the contest and congratulations on uh, 100 plus subs uh, definitely deserve more so uh, here's to the next two three hundred and uh, I'm sure you'll be there before long uh, so again I'll leave a link for Manta uh, below go check out his videos if you haven't show uh, this young guy some support he's doing a good job on here a lot of knowledge of comic books to be so young and a really good collection uh, going so far so uh, let's show him some support thanks again and uh, congratulations on the subs thanks everybody for watching Y'all take care. Until next time. Later.